Hey guys, today we're going to be installing the uh, new Tiger roll-up bed cover for the 2021 F-150. I have a six and a half foot bed and uh, we just unpackaged the Tiger simple uh, roll-up bed cover. Uh, I had this on my old truck. So the Tiger T1, uh, great job on the uh, shipping. Uh, everything was nice and uh, neatly packaged and uh, safe for shipping so uh, i really like the way they did this so today we're going to tear into the uh, installation of the tiger t1 roll-up bed cover so the first thing we want to look at is the uh, truck's front bed rail make sure it's not lower than the uh, side rails and with the uh, lay-in cover i got here it is pretty nice and even with the uh, height of the bed rail so we will not be using the additional weather stripping that they have provided on my existing truck or the older one did not have that so I ended up using the weather stripping so we're going to place the front bed rail here uh, up there and then we're gonna put the side rails on and then secure per the instructions I also want to note that the tools we will be using today is just a Phillips uh, number two screwdriver as well as a number 10 socket and a uh, number 10 wrench. The two uh, 10 millimeters will be used for the clamps. And then the Phillips is going to be used to loosen this bed rail right here. And that's where the bed rails will attach. And then we will tighten those. All right, now we're just going to uh, slide the bed rails into the bed cover. Right here, you see it where I've already kind of done it. But uh, that little thing right there slides right into the channel here on this angle piece. So bloop, right in there. And then after that, I uh, take the tarp and I pull it up to where I'm able to shove that piece all the way up in there flush. Just like that. And then from there, we will tighten that screw, which will put a good clamp on that and secure the front bed rail to the side rails. I've already done it on that side, so now we'll go to tighten. I'm not gonna video that. So after you get those two Phillips screws tightened and the bed rails are attached to the uh, side rails, you wanna make sure everything's lined up as far as being square here on the Ford, kinda ovals out. A little bit so I'm gonna get my center part to where it's just barely not touching and then I'll have a larger gap on each side but the most important thing is make sure everything's square uh, which not a real big deal uh, or not hard to do with these things um, so after you get that on next we're gonna be installing the clamps see here I've already got five out of the six clamps installed I uh, got them placed evenly uh, throughout the channels now with this being a six and a half foot bed I do have six of the clamps being used so uh, but it's pretty simple just gonna shove that up in there now the key is to make sure that that part right there locks inside that channel if it's out here no bueno so make sure it's all locked up and then I have these perpendicular symmetrical I'm sorry so, but yeah, and then from there, we're just going to tighten these clamps down and then we will unroll the mat and tension it. All right, guys, got all five of the six clamps tightened. Um, turns out you don't need the 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, you just need to push the nut up into the locking part and then just use your socket on that guy. Um, with the... 2010 or 2021 F-150s. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's like a little plastic clip up up there that holds on the top of the plastic bed rail. Uh, make sure that you do not put the bottom side of your clamp near there. So make sure you have something solid to go to. Uh, I took all of my rails right here. I got them flush with the edge of the bed rail. So I'm going to finish tightening this thing up and then we'll unroller and then we will adjust the tensioning 
uh, for those parts right there, which just requires two Phillips head screws. So we'll uh, go from there. Well, guys, whenever I say don't over tighten these things, you don't want to sit here and crank on this thing. You know, just a couple good snugs. You don't want this thing starting to bend and bow and all that other good stuff. So it's nice and snug. We're not sitting here trying to keep the bed from falling off the truck. We just want to keep this tarp nice and secure. So as long as you got a good snug fit there at the uh, seal, everything's nice and tight, not moving, shaking the whole truck before it moves, you're good to go. All right, guys. Well, I just unrolled it, uh, kind of pulled each side down while pressing down the Velcro. Uh, otherwise than that, I mean, it's pretty taut. Uh, so luckily I don't have to do anything with the tensioning. Uh, so that's good. Other than that, uh, we'll shut the thing up right here and just test the fitment of the tailgate on the back of the cover. Uh, this Ford has a huge wide tailgate top. So right there, that third point right there is gonna go completely under. That thing is secured. And so, <laughs> tailgate won't come down anymore. But all you gotta do is just press up under here, pull that guy. And boom, up she goes. So, do a little bit more securing of the Velcro. Which I forgot to secure that side, obviously. But, I like it. Post in the comments what you think about this video. I'm new to making videos. Hell, I had to YouTube how to hold the phone in order to make a video for YouTube. Uh, anyways, let me know in the comments. Uh, Click the like and subscribe button. There'll be more updates to the new 2021 F-150 with the 5.0 V8 uh, engine. So thanks, guys. Have a great day.